Hello everyone, welcome to Self Repair. Thanks for joining us. Richard and I are pleased that you're here. We'll be doing a He Said, She Said style reading and these are not sign dependent and they're also not time dependent. So it's a very intuitive reading and you're guided to it at the time when you're meant to view it. If you enjoy this reading, then please be sure to check out our Soul for Repair playlist here on the channel for more of these style readings. Now let's get started. Hello everyone, welcome to Soul for Repair. My name is Michelle. My name is Richard. Let's get started with the reading. We'll start with the Oracle cards. Firstly, we have Burnt by the Sun. The card speaks of ambition, extension and reach. The way that I'm feeling around this card is it's a caution. It's a caution of being mindful, to be mindful of what is safe and wise for you at this time. Not to overextend or to overreach, to reach too high too soon. There's a feeling of uh, Icarus with this card of being flying too close to the sun and being burnt by that. And as a result, suffering some kind of self-administered hurt or injury. So we'll see where that goes. Now, Richard has pulled a card and it's from the Energy Oracle. And it's the thinking man, but he's in the reverse. Now, this could be one of two things. It could be an authority figure in your life who is overstepping their bounds, or it could be a, it could be about you and your unwillingness to heed the call to grow. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's see where this goes. Either side can resonate, of course, so please keep that in mind. Sometimes both uh, sides can resonate also. If you're cross-watching, one of these situations will be more a you, your energy, and the other is someone that you're dealing with. We have the moon at the bottom of the deck. And I have the empress in reverse. You know, the moon, it's a funny old card. And when we talk about being burnt by the sun and starting off at a place of the moon, I'm wondering if this isn't about uh, knowledge, if there's something that needs to be gained, some wisdom before you can reach a, a goal or, or come towards something or someone so let's see I'm going to cut these cards and we'll focus in we'll do a horseshoe reading so we'll start with past energy the present the near future advice what's happening around you that may be affecting you hopes and fears potential outcome and what this reading is about or the overall energy past present future advice environment hopes and fears outcome and overall energy right in the center of this we have the six of swords so there's movement here there's travel there is extension when we speak about sixes we speak about success success after trials after tribulations very much a feeling here of moving on after having gained some wisdom after having learned a lesson if you look at these figures in the boat, they're hunched over. So they've been suffering for a while, probably some pain, some sadness. But nevertheless, they're, they're moving on with that. Now, they still have some swords within the boat. So they're, they're left with their thoughts, really. They're left with how things have panned out for them and thinking about that. But still, they're, they're ready to move on into the next phase of their life. So looking over here at the overall energy this reading, we have the Four of Pentacles in the reverse. So this is about release. It's about releasing something that was once valuable to that person. In the past, we've got the Ace of Pentacles. So there was opportunity. There may have been opportunity around this person in the past to grow something. When we talk, when we talk about the Ace, it's all about opportunity and how we how we grow, how we, how we reach. I'm wondering if this is about a situation where there has been an opportunity in the past to start something, but I have a feeling that it was interrupted or something happened, some, some kind of event happened where this ace wasn't fully realized. That's what I feel that this ambition, extension and reach is about. It didn't get a chance to grow or it didn't grow as much as it should have. Now, looking over here at the past energy, we have the King of Wands in the reverse. 
So along with the, the Four of Pentacles in the reverse, we're looking at somebody who's not really acting as their best self, if, especially if they're a fire sign. Sagittarius, uh, Leo, um, Aries. Aries. So then maybe they, they're, the, they're responsible for this not, yeah. not panning out. Actually, this may be a situation in which someone is leaving, mm. uh, going their separate ways. Yeah, Nine of Cups in Reverse. It seems like that's the case. I feel like something hasn't panned out. There was great opportunity, but someone has been left with uh, feeling unfulfilled, uh, unhappy, like the, the dream hasn't been realized. Yeah, they haven't got what they wished for. Mm. Okay, let's take a look at the present energy. We have the Two of Pentacles in the reverse. Could be about a choice, a choice that was overwhelming. So, and then that's what that's what caused this not to not to grow. Not to grow. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Let's see. The wheel of fortune in reverse is coming up as the uh, near future. So I get an essence around this of something being blocked, obstacles, and a, a turn for the worse. There's a feeling around this of disappointment and things being left up to fate, left up to chance. It seems like I'm talking about two people here who have had every opportunity for something great, but yet probably because a little bit of both, probably a little bit of both here, I mean, uh, it takes two to tango, but at least one person here was probably a little bit, maybe a little bit more responsible, um, responsible than the other, but doesn't mean mm. completely off, off the, uh, uh, off base here when it comes to two people uh, needing to work together to have something grow but it seems to me that rather than work at it these people have kind of just let it let it slide or, or let fate or, or if it's meant to happen it'll happen but no one's really put that much effort into it that is what I'm sensing around this reading Hmm. Or they've given up making an effort. Right. Yeah, we have temperance in reverse here as well. So that talks about overindulgence. Mm. It could be overindulgence in substances or people or relationships or, or even sex. Mm. As the advice here, we've got the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. I think that this is about people who have been... I'm getting an image in my mind of someone who's a workaholic, someone who has put all of their focus towards the work and as a result the other individual has felt devalued, undervalued or has felt like all of the responsibility has been on them. And there's an energy around this of being overlooked there's a feeling that I'm getting around this of someone who just believes if they do the work, if they if they go to work each day and bring home the paycheck, that's really all that's required. But I'm not seeing any emotional component here. It's really an unfulfilling relationship for one person here because somebody is so ambitious, somebody is so focused on work maybe both of these people are focused so much on work here that the emotional side of it has just been left to chance left to slide yeah i'm thinking it's this person here who is mostly responsible for that kind of mm. that kind of card there yeah, but with the with the yeah. workaholic kind of card you've yeah. got the king of wands here in the reverse mm. that's a very authoritarian kind of character and then we, yeah and then you've got the thinking man in reverse here as well so i can't help but think this is more masculine energy on this side mm. and it's someone who's not working very hard at a relationship but might be working too hard at other things with that two of pentacles in reverse it seems like there's just too much going mm. on that something gets well something falls in the cracks yeah. i think it's the relationship yeah so looking over here we have the strength card as advice well it's about being strong isn't it it's about right uh, in this case i think it's about rearranging one's priorities to take account of what's important mm, mm. i mean if the relationship isn't important then 
that's what's going to happen, isn't it? Right. It seems to be that at, at some point in time, you know, we, we tend to, when we're younger, we start out with all of that uh, fire in the belly about our ambitions, about our goals, our dreams. And, and then we tend to, to go down the road of family. I feel like this is a situation where family has gone by the wayside or has suffered in some way because of one person's focus on the self or on ego, uh, very much on someone who gets all of their uh, attention from being in the career. Mm. But when it comes to outside of the career, there's not much going on there. It, it seems to be mainly just someone who uh, works, 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 and their whole identity is wrapped up in their work or their career. Yeah, the Ten of Wands in reverse, it's certainly a need to readjust, to rebalance the scales, to get rid of some of the, uh, uh, the stresses of life. It seems to me that, that someone here is just uh, overworked, over, overburdened, and I feel like uh, something has to give. It, it, I think it's this person who's yeah. overburdened, because that's in the environment. Yeah. So this is and this as a result, I feel like the other person here may be just have too much to do in the home, mm. as well as working, mm. because I feel that, this, that both of these partners work. One feels like the home though is more of the woman i mean it's very it's kind mm. of a little bit sexist sexist or a uh, um, little bit misogynistic but I, I feel like that king of wands character there tends to think you know i just have to go to work mm. and when i come home i don't have to do anything mm, that's right but the woman here i'm, I'm going to say it's a woman but of course however it resonates with you mm. also works puts all of their effort towards their work but also has the, the responsibilities around the home as well. You know, this Ace of Pentacles here in the past is making more sense, isn't it? Yeah. Because I think part of the reason these two people got together is because they're both good at making money. Yeah. And that was the foundation of the relationship. And both parties knew that money would never really be an issue. Mm. But what is an issue now is who's taking care of the house? Yeah. Who's, who's balance. doing the yes, balance. And balance and, this person here seems to be so busy at work that they can't handle their other responsibilities mm. or they don't think that those other responsibilities exist for them, like mm. Michelle was saying. Mm. Let's take a look at the environment. We have the, the Knight of Pentacles. You know, I get this <laughs> I get this here as being this person, mm. the long suffering spouse, mm. right? The, mm. the person who puts up with all the, all the stuff because this person's working so hard at their job. Mm. The trooper is what I get here. And uh, this person, I don't think is giving this person, the, uh, sorry, I don't think this person is giving this person the recognition that they deserve. That's for certain. We've got the hopes and fears, hermit in reverse, you know, the thing is, neither one of these people want to be alone. So they're in this relationship. But the problem is they end up being alone anywhere, anyway because it's like they're ships that pass in the night. Because I feel that someone's at work all day. They may come home very late at night. The other person's at work probably until about 5 or 6 o'clock at night, comes home, has all the responsibilities of home life. They may meet up to talk about work for an hour before it's time to, uh, to turn off the lights and, and it all starts again. But yet there's, real, there's been really no reflection here. I, I feel like both of these people distract themselves by work and I get the energy around this of neither person has brought this up. Uh, it's more likely that these two individuals, one person's going to crack here. I feel like one person's going to crack, it's, it's the person that has the double workload here and is going to blow their top and, and end up going away from this. But there's been no communication, there's been no, there's been no talk. No. Now with that Wheel of Fortune in, in reverse, it's kind of like, oh, this isn't what I signed up for. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Over here, we've got the Ten of Cups in reverse in hopes and fears. You know, obviously that's a fear here. It's the fear that 
this family is going to break apart because this person's working too hard mm. at work. Mm. And if this is a situation where we've got two professionals trying to start a family, mm. I feel like the family is, is not starting. Right. Because neither one has time. Mm. We've got the four of wands in reverse as the outcome. Yeah, it, it's about appreciation and appreciation in the home and being, uh, being appreciated for the work done in the home. Whereas the four of wands in the upright is about celebration. This mm. is the opposite. Mm. A lack of appreciation. Mm. And, but the thing is, it seems to be that this could be a good match if there was more balance. It, it's certainly a good match from the financial side. Yes. The practical side of things. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is a this could be a very strong relationship and would have plenty of money for family and living and everything else if everybody could get onto the same page. Yeah. All right, let's take a look at the outcome over here. Yeah, we have the eight of swords in the upright. So this person, I think, feels restricted by the fact that they know they have these other responsibilities that they have to take care of as well as work. You know, often we're put into a situation and we feel like we don't have a choice. Mm. But, you know, I think in the end, it depends on what's more important to you. Yeah. And you can make choices, even though they're hard, and you can choose to do something else. I get the feeling here, Richard, that these two people at the end of the day, rather than sort this out, are throwing their hands up, both of them, and saying, you know what, I, I, it's not working. Mm. And, and both seem to, to let this go. Yeah, well, we'll, we'll see. I mean, uh, the, in the outcome, we'll, uh, we'll take a look at the clarifications here. Six of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck, you know, it's all about that equal exchange, give and take. There's been no give and take here. One person in particular, because they, they feel it's the man's role, I feel uh, very restricted by the way that they think mm -hmm. power is. Uh, they, they have kind of a, a skewed way of thinking. They may be a bit older, uh, they may just have that kind of mindset of uh, you know how things were in, in in their parents day or the grandparents day where things were done at home by the woman and don't, don't want to put any effort there and just say okay well i'm not going to change so this is the way things have to be the way, the way things have to be and on this side i feel it's someone saying well this isn't what i signed mm. up for mm. uh, it's too much for me mm. I, I i'm not being appreciated at home i'm just going to turn the uh, throw the dice here and and, uh, and and take a chance somewhere else. Yeah, but the Six of Swords suggests that, doesn't it? Okay, plenty of, clari plenty, plenty of stuff to clarify here in part two. I hope that you join us. The link is below in the descriptions box and that will be on the Vimeo channel. It'll be about another 45 to 50 minute reading, so we'll be clarifying everything on the table, doing some Lenormand readings as well, and looking at some oracles for guidance. So please do join us if this is resonating. It can resonate the opposite way around, or if you're cross-watching, this may be someone uh, that you're dealing with, of course. And uh, if you would like a personal reading, you can email me, gypsyinsights at gmail.com. We thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to check out the Soul for Repair playlist. There you'll find readings that are done in this style, but they're not sign or time dependent. So when you're viewing those is when you're meant to see them. Thanks again, guys. We'll see you in part two, or we will speak to you again very soon. Thank you. Goodbye and good luck.